So for those of you that are curious uh, how I'm going to go about making these little adjustments, uh, I figured I'd do a video and show you. Uh, because we have actually learned uh, what we need to know in order to make these little changes. So first, I don't, I think that the member index is too busy. Uh, so I don't think we need to know their gender or their address. This is not a dating app. And the zip is really not necessary either. Okay. So I got rid of the gender and the address and the zip code. Okay. So I'm going to save that. I think that'll make that particular table look way better. And then I did want to change. It's going to have to be the create and the edit. So for gender, I actually want this to be a drop down. And we did a drop down uh, in our movie app. So we have seen the code for that already. Now, I mean, I could just hard code a select, but uh, what I'm going to do is go into the member controller. And I'm probably going to create a little list and then pass it uh, to the, it'll be the create and the edit. Um, so I'm going to stop the recording, code this up. So what I did is I created um, a private a little method called gender list where I'm actually creating the list and I return it. And then I basically use a view bag to store it and pass it along to the views. Uh, in the view, what I did was I, I changed uh, what they had because what was there was basically uh, for a string and I changed it into a select. So I did not have to change the label, uh, but I did have to change the form control to select. Okay, it was input, I changed it to select, I removed the slash, added the closing select, and then for the first option value, I put in selected gender. Uh, then I have a little for each. And what is coming to me in the view bag is just a string. So um, I give it a little alias here. And then I'm just basically generating those entries. And the way that I do it here uh, basically is the same way that I need to do it in the edit. Okay, so I can just pretty much copy this code and paste it. And I have not put it in the edit yet, but if we look, I think this is the edit, uh, you will see here's gender. This is what it looked like uh, in the create before I made the change. So I am just going to take all of this, copy it, and put it right in here. And let me save. 
And those were really the only two places that I need it. So I'm going to run this. And let me edit. We'll try editing the whole thing. Okay, so that's with everything filled in. That doesn't look too bad. Now, if I create a new one, I will do a woman, Betty Rubble. All right, that's enough for Betty. Okay, so that actually looks pretty good. Now the other change I wanted, and I'm not actually gonna worry about these headings at this point. Uh, there is a way to fix those uh, using the um, data annotations. And so what I do want is basically a little link here for the BMI. But I think I might wait on that because what I think I might do is maybe add it to this. So when this displays, that that BMI displays, because that actually makes a whole lot more sense. Actually, I can do that rather quickly. I'm gonna, so I've got the BMI displaying on details, and here's how I did it. Did not take much time. Um, I did have to go into the stack controller, and then in the detail action method, I took the stats object here uh, and called calc BMI. And then I stored it in view bag BMI. And then over here in the details, I just added to the end, uh, I gave a display name of member BMI. Uh, and I, you'll notice I didn't use display name four because this is not tied to a model, there is no property in that model to store the BMI, it's, it's um, calculated. So uh, here I've got, you know, just a display name, and then here I'm just, just spitting out what's uh, being passed from the controller. So at this point, this is pretty much all I'm gonna do to this app. Uh, Hopefully you guys all have fun with this and let me know if you have questions. Uh, you'll be able to do a lot more customizing in upcoming weeks.